Canisius is really good. Reggie's done a great job. It's funny, Valenti hugged me and said, I'm going to miss you, coach. I said, we got another battle to go, maybe two. He's a good kid. He plays hard. We just played so hard today that it makes you wonder what would happen if we did that all year. On the good news, first game of 2017, we played real hard. We had a chance to tie the game at the end. We just came up a little short, but I'm really proud of our guys. I'm happy the way we battled. Things are good. And in terms of effort, execution was pretty good too. Just got to get a couple little breaks here and there, and we got to get a couple more stops. I thought our defense was better in the second half, and that's about all I have. We have to try and beat Niagara, who's playing really well. He's got them playing much better. I know they had a slow start. They're three out of three and three. Their last one, they got a good transfer. And Robinson's really good. There's a reason I Cassius Robinson came down to Loyola and, and, and Canisius when I was there, and then I left, and he's a really good player. He, he was hot early. But we competed. We battled. I thought our zone was pretty good. We made some good plays, and we had a look to tie the game at the end. It just didn't go down. I'll take any questions. How, how surprised are you that there's just been not much outside shooting this entire season? I mean, coming in, did you expect there'd be a lot more than this? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. But, I mean, we just went over. It's funny. You smart, good question. We're two for 14. We either have to get better at shooting threes, but well, we've tried a lot of those things. So maybe we have to pass them up, because if we make two twos, we win that game by one. I don't mean that's how it works, but we make two twos, we win that game by one, just doing the math. Sometimes you got to pass them up. Now at the end, Evans' three at the end was a good three. Marquise's tap out was just ridiculous, what a play that was. And it tapped right in front of me. And I'm not going to blame anybody on our team, because we win and lose as a team, but Ryder, Canisius, I got a Nico Clareth with a three right there to tie the game and to win the game. And he, nobody works harder on his jumper than him. It's just we're not, they're not going in. I believe in the basketball gods. The harder you work, the luckier you get that one of those will go down. But yes, we're two for 14. We've got to figure some things out. I think Keese can get some more, you know, some more shots. Brett, yeah, I figured Brett, Keese, and, and Nico would be plenty from the three-point line going in. And LeVon's pretty good when he gets some open ones. And Khalil can make them in drills. This isn't drills, and I thought Kadeem Smith really showed something today, playing some minutes for us. He's a pretty good shooter, and Evan Fisher's a good shooter. And it's just it's, my experiment failed. I'm I'm to blame for that. Thought it'd be Bill Lambier, defensive rebound, play hard on defense, but make open threes. And I think he's I don't think his percentages are quite where I want him to be. He's got to make a shot, and and and, and, and Khalil. But I mean, we'll get Marquis some more threes. You know, he was one for two today. He was around the offense. He's playing a composition. LeVon made two the other day. LeVon can make threes when we're open. It's one of those things that's contagious. But I'll tell you what, I'd keep giving the ball to JV on a breath because they looked real good in their scoring. Marquise was running the offense. LeVon was doing his thing. And Herter can shoot a little threes. I just, I got to get Tom in slowly. You know, Tom lost his guy who ended up getting a three. Spencer Foley got hot. It's not Tom Herter's fault. He played three minutes. Tom's trying to figure out game speed play. So maybe Herter gets the next chance. I really am been impressed in practice with Tom Herter. Has he kind of taken over? Santi's spot, or how, I mean, he yeah, just outplayed him the last week in practice. Yeah. Santi had the flu. Herder played good. I mean, I, I, once again, it's up to the four seniors, and they played their butts off today. Nico's got to shoot it a little better, if you want, quite frankly. I don't make excuses for anybody, but it's my fault I'm the coach. But I, guy had 520 points last year, and I thought, so maybe. But he's had knee surgery. I don't care about the excuses. I think someone said today, Everybody, I was reading a lot about the NFL stuff. Everybody's had injuries. Everybody's lost a guy here or there. Everybody has aches and pains. It's the truth. you got to execute. But we were really, really good at competing today. I mean, Canisius is good. This guy Valenti's a real deal. He's a fifth-year senior. Crumpton and Cassius Robinson are real good. I like their little point guard. Um, that was played a little better than I thought. But I didn't know Spencer Foley was going to come in and go five for seven. We talked all about him shooting threes off the catch. He got the first one early, and then we, we kind of struggled there. But... We're close. I want to stay optimistic. There's, there's a tournament in March that's going to determine who wins this league and goes. And we're not quitting and we're not giving up until that tournament is over. We're not going to, our destiny is not sealed until that tournament's over. And I want to see who else comes in here and plays these guys to a three point game. It's not for them. Because they've had a good career. I mean, I just, I talked to him, we had a nice chat. Me yelling at these four, they know what to do. He's playing his butt off. He's playing his butt off. I still think he should score a little more. But I don't have someone to play the point guard position. You know, it didn't help us that we had someone leave in August. Nobody cares. We had a guy we didn't think was going to leave in August so he could play more too. Well, he did because he wanted to go to junior college because he wants to go to the NBA and he wants to go to the highest level. That's 2016. It doesn't matter. 
that's totally fine. That's what you deal with. You deal with injuries, you deal with free agency and the pros, you deal with trades, all that. With us, I just think Marquise did a great job running the team today, and I still got to get him some more shots, though. But our four guys were really good, and we're going to go until March with that. I do want to see who, Sam, I do want to see. I thought Kadeem took a step today. You know, Kadeem took a step in front of his parents. He played quality minutes. See, I'm, we'll go after this because we got a shower. Getting kids in 2016 and 17, and now it's 17, Happy New Year, we're going forward. I said, I'll be positive. I'll play you minutes. But you still got to listen to the defensive instruction, to the passing instruction. The, the, the modern player wants to look at one thing. How many points did I score? We don't need anybody to score on this team. I need someone to make really good defensive plays, throw him the ball, get him off the ball once in a while because he can really score. It's just hard when the whole defense is set playing the one. The guy had 31, 21, and 25 playing the two, but we weren't running as good an offense. I need somebody to step up and say, I'll do all the little stuff, and I'll fit in and do exactly what these four guys want to do. And I think we took a step today. Sammy was, Sammy Friday's good, right? We like Sammy. Sammy's good, just not a great matchup for Sammy Friday today. You know, Valenti's a crafty lefty, step back, slick player, fifth year senior. But I think Sammy Friday can be, can play too. But we're going to keep trying to build and see you in the